like we're playing Build to Survive. Oh, wait, why are we in a bedroom? Oh, well, that's because we're playing against Weird Strict Dad. We've only got a few minutes before he breaks through that door. Oh my gosh, that looks terrifying. Yeah, we better get to building. I'm building on this plot over here. I want to be as far away from that guy as possible. I guess I'll build on this one. Oh, Dad, can I join your team? And Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. You're on my team, Speaker Man. I guess I'll join your team, Speaker Baby. And all right, well, anyway, Speaker Man, uh, then what are we building? We got to build something super safe to keep that guy out of our house. Mm, I don't know. Uh, maybe like a castle. A castle would be good. And uh, hmm, a castle could work, but we're going to have to make it really strong. I guess let's grab a little bit of, uh, let's see, what type of block could we use? And, ooh, wait, what about some stone bricks? These are pretty strong. And let's just build our entire castle out of these. Uh, wait, you guys are using stone bricks? Why don't you use something stronger like obsidian? And what, you're using obsidian? Oh, that actually probably is a pretty good idea. Wait, I've got a better idea. Instead of using obsidian, let's use reinforced stone bricks. I'm pretty sure this is stronger than obsidian. And ooh, reinforced stone bricks. All right, all right. Yeah, let's just use some of this and we can just have this go all the way around the entire house. This should be pretty good. Hey, wait, what are we doing placing all this manually? We have uh, magic wands. And oh, yeah, yeah, you're right here. Let me do slash slash wand really quick. And now we can just select all of this and then we can just make the wall instantly by doing slash slash stack. Boom, there we go. In fact, let's do this a little bit longer. There we go. And all right, that wall is looking nice here. I'm just gonna make it a little bit longer, actually. There we go. And now let's do the same over here on this side. Boom, there we go. And all right, the base of our castle is done. But uh, oh, wait, we should probably make our walls a little bit taller like uh, the other team. Yeah, we could do that easily with the magic wand. Yep, here, let me just run this command really quick. Boom, there we go. And all right, now uh, it's pretty tall. But anyway, the next thing we need to do for our castle is like actually add a door. So I guess we can just have the door be right over here. This could be pretty good. And uh, how do we uh, stop him from getting in? I mean, he is pretty tall. I mean, we could just make it really tiny. Oh, yeah, I'm, honestly, that could work. I guess we, we don't even need a door. He's probably not even gonna be able to fit through here. We can just leave it like this. Yeah, look, even his hand is bigger than the door. And yeah, you're right. I think we should just be fine leaving like an open door like this. But anyways, now that we're on the inside of the castle, what should we build first? Well, why don't we make some archery towers? And ooh, okay, yeah, archery towers are gonna be really nice. That's gonna like really fit the aesthetic of, of a castle. So here, let's just do that right now. We can just have them go like a little bit outside of the castle like this. And ooh, yeah, this is gonna look nice. Oh yeah, I'll get started on this one over here using commands. And yeah, what we can do once we've got the first layer of it done, we can just select it and then look up and then run the command slash slash stack up 30 and boom. There we go. Uh, that is one archer tower down. Although this may be a little bit too tall. Let me see if, oh yeah, that's a little bit too tall. Let me undo that. And let me just try slash slash stack up 15. Yeah, there we go. That's looking pretty nice. And whoa, wait, Ruby and Speaker Ruby. I just took a look at your guys' building. This is looking pretty sick. Wait, what are you guys building? Right now I'm working on dispensers that'll make like a giant lava wall around our base. Whoa, that is actually a sick idea. But wait, I should probably get back to building my castle. And oh, wait, uh, Speaker Man, I see you made your archery tower around. We should make them squares because squares will have like more room on the inside. Uh, what? No, circles do. What? No, they don't. Look, there's less room inside of a circle than there is inside of a square. Squares just have more space on the inside. Yeah, but circles take up less space. So I think we should go with circles. And also, they look so much nicer. Um, uh, okay. Well, how about we have uh, two square archer towers and two circle archer towers? That could be good. I'll build another square one over here. Uh, okay. It's going to look very weird. No, 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 no. Trust me. It's going to look just fine here. Watch. We just got to finish building these archer towers really quick. And then once we're done, it's all going to look nice. Well, Speaker Baby's going to build that lava wall. I'm going to start an armory. And whoa, wait, you guys are building an armory? That sounds pretty sick. But anyways, there we go. We have our archer towers done. And wait, why are yours taller than mine? Hold on. You should make them a little bit lower. We don't need them that tall. I, of course we need them this tall. They need to be the tallest in the land. And look, they've already beat us. And here, let me just put this other archer tower down. Boom. There we go. That is looking pretty sick. Wait, guys, me and Ruby just came up with a crazy idea. And wait, you did? What is it? Yeah, I think we should connect our houses together. Whoa, wait a minute. That actually sounds like a pretty good idea. That way, if one of the houses goes down, we can just like flee to the other person's house. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Oh yeah, that actually does sound like a pretty good idea. Let's make a bridge over to the houses. And ooh, yeah, yeah, that's what we can do. We can just have a bridge going from over here, connecting both of the houses. Yeah, this is gonna look sick. We're gonna need a roof for this bridge because of the lava wall. And, oh yeah, yeah, right, because you guys have your lava dispensers right over here. All right, well, ooh, why don't we build the top part of the bridge out of some glass? That way we can like see what's going on outside and we can also see the lava flow down, which is gonna be cool. Ooh, instead of glass, let's do reinforced glass. And oh, don't even worry about it. I already got reinforced glass. This is gonna be epic. And here, let's just continue this thing going all the way over to your guys' base and then we can just have a little hole over here in the wall. And oh wait, I think we uh, built the bridge right in between where you guys were like uh, splitting up floors. Wait, where should we make this bridge go to? Should we make it go to the top floor or the bottom floor? Let's make it go to the top 
top floor. And all right here, what we could do is just have some blocks over here like this. Actually, what we could do is just have some stairs. Yeah, this should be fine. We can just put down these stairs over here like that. And boom, there we go. That is looking pretty sick. And oh yeah, now we got to build a roof. Oh, don't worry. I'm already on it. This is going to look so sick. Whoa, okay. You're building it like really fancy. All right, all right here. I'll help you out over here on this side. Whoa, you're really getting fancy with this. And yeah, wait, connecting our houses is actually a really good idea. Now we can all work together. But the next thing we have to do is like actually connect it to that me and speaker men's house over here. So uh, where should we have this go to? I guess we can just have like a little ladder over here. This should look pretty good. So just like that. And boom, there we go. And, oh, wait, why don't we also connect our archer towers with bridges? Oh, yeah, that actually is a pretty good idea. All right, let's do it here. We can just have like a bridge going over here like this. And we can just have that go inside of the archer tower like that. This is actually looking sick. All right, me and speaker Baby are going to finish our lava wall. But when we finish, we should all work together on something. And oh, yeah, yeah, that sounds good here. We'll finish up our archer towers really quick. And uh, the once we're done, let's all meet up again in, in the middle of the bridge area. So here, let me just finish up connecting all of the archer towers with this bridge. And oh, wait, we need to have like some sort of entrance down over here to the archer tower so we can just have that that looks pretty good let's do the same over here on this side and now we just need to have the ladders going up so we can just have some ladders going up the archer tower like that and then let's just put down a little bit of spruce stuff over here for the floor yeah spruce looks amazing yep this is looking sick now i gotta do the same over here on this side and wait we should probably put roofs on our tower so that weird strict dad guy doesn't you know come and pick us up and oh oh yeah that's probably a good idea we do not want him to just come down and swoop us up and ooh, all right yeah we can build it out of some of these stairs this should look pretty sick I'll do the same over here on this side. And here, I'm just gonna make this like a super pointy roof so that if a weird strict dad steps on it, it's gonna be uh, pretty painful. Oh, you want super pointy? I got this. And ooh, all right, all right. This one over here that I built is looking pretty good. Let me just do the same over here on this side. And whoa, okay, wait, you are building yours very tall. Uh, yeah, you said super pointy, right? And uh, yeah, but wait, you don't want it to go this tall. It's literally taller than him. Uh, how is he supposed to step on this? Uh, I don't know, but there we go, super pointy. And uh, dude, he's literally gonna have to jump on the bed and then like jump off of the bed and try to land on this. this is way too tall yeah yeah but he'll probably do that maybe i guess i doubt this guy's gonna try jumping on the bed but here let me just uh, build another small pointy roof over here on this side so here let me just put down a few more blocks and boom there we go my roofs are complete and whoa wait even our bridge is like super pointy so weird strict dad is gonna have to be very careful where he uh, steps and let me just paste this in boom there we go and nice our archer towers are looking sick but anyways now that our archer towers are done uh, ruby speaker baby uh, we're done with our stuff uh, that we're ready to build something together. Oh, well, I'm just setting up this room to place some turrets in these windows. Whoa, wait, you're setting up turrets here? <gasps> wait, that actually seems like a really cool idea. We should definitely do that. Wait, maybe we should do it all together. Yeah, we should. Okay, well, uh, here, I guess let's grab some of these turrets, speaker man. We can build some of these over here on our side of the castle as well, and we can just, like, all have turrets. Oh, yeah, we should use a different kind of turret, though. And yeah, wait, what type of turrets are they using? And Oh, wait, you guys are using the laser turrets? Well, let's see, what other types of turrets are there? In <gasps> Whoa, there is a quite a few of them. Wait, what about the potato cannon turret? What about the rocket launcher turret? And, oh, 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 yeah, definitely. Uh, that, that one's uh, much better than the uh, potato. Yeah, yeah, all right, let's use the rocket launcher one, but where should we put these turrets? Um, Let's see. Well, I guess we can have one on each corner of our archer towers. And, oh, yeah, yeah, that could work. Okay, we can have one over here like this, and then another one over here on this side, and then we can put the rocket launcher turret on top of them. That is looking super sick, but wait, we also have to fill them up with ammo. Don't forget. Yeah, let me grab some rockets to fill these puppies up. Same here. Let me grab some of these and boom there we go mine is fully filled up but now all we have to do is connect it to like a power source i'm pretty sure oh guys well we have a power source on our top floor and oh wait you guys have a power source all right well uh, i guess we can just connect all our turrets to your guys's power source let me grab some cables really quick and let me just connect these two turrets and oh wait this one's going uh through my ladder okay what i should do here is just move the ladder a little bit to the left over here like that there we go i think this would work better and here let me just connect up both these turrets and wait wait speaker man we should connect all our turrets to one cable and then just have that cable go to their power source. Yeah, that actually sounds pretty good. All right, well, in that case here, let me just finish up putting all of my turrets down. I need to put down one over here and one over here as well. And let me just connect all of these together with some cables. Boom, there we go. And now I gotta move this uh, ladder over here as well. All right, well, let's connect all these turrets with the cables. And all right, sounds good here. I mean, let's just bring them down over here and ooh, we can have them connect through the floor. Yeah, that could work. We can have an underground electricity system. Oh yeah, that actually sounds awesome. Let's just connect our turrets and then we can hook it over to their power system. All right, sounds good here. Uh, let's just make uh, all of our turrets go to the middle and then we can have one cable running through to their power source. That should look good. Are you guys almost done with your turrets over there? We're almost done over here. And yeah, yeah, we're almost done. We just got to finish connecting all of the cables together and then we'll start bringing it over to your power source and then we can connect it to that. And boom, there we go. All right, my turrets are all connected. Are yours connected? And oh, okay, wait, uh, they're not connected. Oh, wait, did you bring them here? Uh, yeah, I'm just going to run a line just like 
this. And ooh, all right, good idea, good idea. Here, I guess I can get rid of this over here and we can just cover this up with some gray wool. And there we go, mine is connected. And now we've got it connected to the actual power source. And awesome, now we can just have one line going all the way over to Ruby and Sneaker Baby's power source. So uh, Ruby, Sneaker Baby, uh, we're coming over. Where's your guys' power source at? It's on the top of our floor. And oh, wait, it's on your top floor. Okay, well, we're kind of coming through the basement right now. And oh, uh, there's lava here. Wait, how are we supposed to get through this? I guess I can just go through the bedrock and yeah, okay, this works. And uh, wait, can you guys see my name? Tag, I'm just let me know when I'm underneath it. Um, I don't see you yet. What you don't? I'm right beneath you, yo, Ruby. Right here, right here. You see me? I I'm just digging up. And, uh, here I am. Oh, I see you now. All right, well, uh, where's the power source at? Whoa, what is that? Um, danger, do not touch. Can you read? All right, but uh, where's the power source? Top floor. Oh, well, should we just start bringing the cable like, like through the middle of your house or something? Or where should we make it go through? Um, I I think the cable needs to go... Yeah, I think through the middle is probably fine. No, not through the middle. You can lead it over here. And oh, oh, all right. Well, I guess we can lead it through here. Actually, let's go to the power source first and then bring the cable down. Let me get this stuff out of you guys' way. And here, yeah, we can just bring this underground over here like that. And we can just connect this to our cable. I'm gonna build a glass case around it so it doesn't get disturbed. But anyways, all we have to do not to connect them is just put this one cable here. So boom, there we go. And now all of our turrets should have power. Let's see if we actually did this correctly and if it actually works. Let's see. Uh, that that side has power, that side has power, and it, your two sides have power. Let's go, we did it! And let's go! But anyways, guys, now that all of the turrets are done, we gotta test this out to see how much damage these things can actually do. Oh, well, our turrets are definitely gonna be better. And what? No, wait, you guys have laser turrets. Did you see which ones we chose? We have the rocket launcher turrets, although uh, you guys have quite a few more than us. But yeah, let me spawn in like a zombie so we can test this really quick. Yeah, what matters is that they all work together. And yeah, you're right, but here, we still have to test this out. Let's see which one of the turrets are better. Let's try this, and here we go. Go and oh wait actually they both look like they did uh, like an equal amount of work there okay hold on let's go over here to your guys's turrets only and let's see how long does it take your guys's turrets to get rid of one zombie so i'll start counting one two three uh, you placed it in a spot four, where they can't see five. i don't think the turrets can see it and okay well let's try that again i guess let me throw this guy into the lava and let's wait for him to go away and all right is this a good spot yeah that should be good and okay let me spawn it in here we go one two Three. Is this some kind of invincible zombie? Uh, no, it's a, it's a pretty normal zombie. Wait a minute. I think I see the problem. Your your turrets are kind of inside of the block. I, I, I think if we break these blocks over here, then it'll work a lot better. And yeah, look, now they're actually doing some damage. Oh, we need to have even more blocks broken up here. Oh, what you could do is put the turrets on the outside instead of the inside. And yeah, wait, why didn't you guys do that in the first place? Uh, because of our lava wall, remember? And oh, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, we have to put them on the inside again. And oh, I guess so. But anyways, I think that proves that rocket turrets are superior. Check this out. The rocket turrets are so much more epic at tier. Let's see how fast it takes the rocket turrets to take out one zombie. And uh, do it. I think one of the laser turrets interfered there. Let's try this again. Boom. And oh, it literally just one shots it. Yep, my turrets are OP. Well, once we fix ours, it'll work. No worries. Yeah, the laser turrets didn't get a fair fight. All right. Well, I guess now that you broke the blocks underneath them, let's try it out again. Let's spawn in a zombie right over here. And boom, that is actually awesome. It took him out. It got fried. I mean, these turrets are pretty all right, but we need something higher caliber. What about some team? TNT cannons. Ooh, TNT cannons. Okay, okay. I like that. I guess that could be like, you know, our backup in case the turrets are not getting the job done. But wait, where should we build them? Well, there's a bunch of room on top of our house. Why don't we build it up here? Ooh, all right, all right. Yeah, this area could work pretty well, but uh, we might have to build a little bit higher because we don't want to interfere with all this redstone. Yeah, we could just like make a floating platform. Oh yeah, that definitely works. And yeah, what we can do now is just select all of this and oh, wait, you already got a secret in. Perfect. But anyways, now we got to build the actual TNT cannons. So uh, here, what we can do is just like start building a bunch of them over here like this yeah yeah we can just have like several of them or we should probably make one and then just copy and paste it yeah that would be so much faster uh, let me just go ahead and get this working and here let me grab a bunch of the redstone and yeah okay this looks pretty nice we need to have some of this redstone go over here like this wait you guys are doing that design uh, me and ruby have such a better design and wait what you do i thought this design was good enough but okay i thought this was the best design no no no, no. you guys don't know what you're doing this is how you build a tnt cannon and oh that's uh an interesting Interestingly shaped TNT cannon, but anyways, I think this one over here is done. Uh, yeah, everything is filled with TNT. Should we test it out? Oh, yeah, let's go for a test spin in three, two, one, fire! Here we go. Hopefully this works. Hopefully it doesn't like blow anything up over here. Oh 
my gosh, that worked perfectly. Although uh, they kind of exploded in the air, but wait, that exploded like exactly where Weird Strike Dad's face is gonna be when he's attacking our house. Oh yeah, that is definitely the best design ever. And oh, we should set up a system. So whenever we click the button once, it fires all of them. Oh my gosh, that is a banger idea. Okay, we should definitely do that. But wait, wait, wait. I wanna see how Speaker Baby and Ruby's design is coming along here. Uh, what, what are you guys doing? Uh, building the TNT cannon, duh. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's called the quad cannon design. Can you see how we have the four sides here? One, two, three, four. And oh yeah, you got the four sides of the dispensers, but wait, how are you? You're supposed to put the TNT that like actually gets fired up here. Yeah, this cannon is more of a manual design. You have to place TNT in the middle and then light it. And oh, oh you have to do it manually. Uh, ours is automatic. Yeah, but just watch. This one's way better. Uh, okay. I, I guess let's see this one. Here we go. And, oh, uh, okay. This one, this looks kind of sketchy. And, whoa, what the? Uh, uh, dude, uh, was that where you were aiming to? Uh, yeah, I was aiming straight for you. What the? Uh, wait, if you were aiming straight for me, that didn't really hit me at all. But wait, I think one of the TNT inside of... Yeah, there's no TNT in this dispenser. Hold on, we need to put that in. And here, try it one more time. I think it should work better now. Oh, there's no TNT in this one either. And what the... Hey, yo, speaker, baby, you gotta make sure to fill up all your dispensers with TNT or else it's gonna go, like, crooked. I did. I don't know what happened. You guys must have sabotaged our better design. And what? No, dude, we would not do that. But anyways, now that there's all the TNT in all the dispensers, let's see. How is this gonna work? And... Uh, Wait, that, that seems kind of useless. Who is that supposed to hit? This design is super good because, like, imagine if Weird Strike Dad is, like, right here, then it'll hit him right in the face. Yeah, you guys underestimate the power of verticality. Uh, I don't know what that means, but okay. Uh, I think we should build more of these, though. I think one of those is, uh, is enough. Ah, Whoa! Oh! What the? Careful! Uh, you gotta be careful in that TNT cannon. Uh, you do not want to be in there yourself when it goes off. Like I said, also doubles as an escape route. Ooh, wait a minute. Actually, that's what it could be used for. Hold on, hold on. Instead of using this as a TNT cannon, why don't we grab a chest? And right over here on this side, we can just fill up this chest with a bunch of these elytros. And we can just use this as like an emergency escape route, not as a TNT cannon, because it's a pretty sloppy TNT cannon, I will say. But it is a pretty banger escape route. Let me just put on an elytro real quick and test it out. Here we go. Go and oh my gosh. Okay, that is actually crazy. See, it was useful. Well, since this is an escape route, not really a TNT cannon, we should probably put this in the middle so we have more room for actual TNT cannons. And yeah, yeah, I think that sounds like a good idea. Okay, let's just select all of this with a wand really quick. I'm just gonna select all of this and let me just run the command slash slash cut and uh, here, where do we wanna paste it? Over here? Uh, just put it straight in the middle right here. And yeah, but we need to have room for like the other TNT cannons and the redstone to power them all at the same time. Uh, What about right here where I'm standing? And uh, Okay, that's the same spot as earlier. But okay, yeah, I guess this could work. We could just paste it in right here. Let me do slash slash paste. Boom. There we go. That looks pretty sick. Oh, the way I, I think I went one block too high. Hold on. Let me try that again. Let me just go over here and slash slash paste. Boom. There we go. That's looking pretty good. Now we just have to copy and paste these TNT cannons a bunch of times. Don't worry. Already got these. We can do slash slash stack. Boom. There we go. And whoa, this is looking pretty OP. Oh my gosh. Weird strict that doesn't stand a chance. And yeah, but uh, guys, we got to test this all out at the same time here. Let's just connect all of these together with some redstone so we can just activate them all with one button. So let's just connect them all like that. And uh, we can have, yeah, we can have the one button be over here in the middle, I guess. And wait, uh, how are we going to make sure that they all get power? Oh, wait, what we could do is grab some repeaters and just like put them over here. Yeah, this should be good enough. Uh, well, should we take it for a spin? Let's try it out. Uh, sure, this might go wrong. So uh, hold on, let me uh, get a little bit prepared here. And yeah, hopefully it doesn't just all blow up and hopefully it actually works. This is uh, kind of sketchy. All right, well, it's ready if you want to try it. May I do the honors? And uh, yeah, go for it, speaker baby. Let's check it out. All right, let's light the fuse in three, two, one. Here we go. And, oh, oh, wait, this looks pretty promising so far. Let's see. Let's see it. Oh, 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 wait. It, None of that worked. Uh, it, wait, I think I know what the problem was. Hold on, let me just uh, put everything back. And uh, I think we just have to get rid of this. And oh, wait, you had it copied. Perfect. And oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure what the problem was that this redstone over here was like powering the, the, the dispenser. Okay, yeah, let's just get rid of all that. And okay, I think it should work now. Should we try it again? All right, test two and three two, one. All right, here we go. This better work. And okay, this looks pretty promising so far. Here we go. And, oh Woo! my gosh. That was sick. That was actually awesome. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. We got to hit that again. Let me hit this button one more time. Let's see this. Let's see this. Oh my gosh. I want to see what it looks like from all the way down here. This is going to look crazy. And Whoa, that looks sick. Wait, I've got an even crazier idea. Wait, 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 what is it? We are going to select this just like that. And then let's go up. Uh, let's go up three. There we go. And oh, I cannot spell whatsoever. Boo! 
Whoa, wait, 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 wait. You want to stack them? And oh, wait, hold on. I don't think that's going to work. We need to have like the floor. Uh, yeah, we need to add a floor to these, but uh, let's do that right now. And it should work. And yeah, here, let's just add a floor to these really quick. And whoa, wait, we're just going to have a triple decker. Not even a triple decker. It's four layers. It's like the quadruple decker TNT cannon. This is going to be pretty wild. This looks sick, guys. I hope this works, guys. I don't want our base to blow and, up. Uh, no, nah, you should be fine. You know, your base is made out of obsidian, right? So even if it does blow up, you should be just fine. So how do we activate it? And oh, yeah, true. That's a good point. I didn't think about that. How are we going to activate all of these at once? And oh, actually, what we could do is use some observers. Let me grab some of those really quick. Or, wait a minute. Do we even need observers? Could we use redstone torches instead? I have an idea. I have an idea. Hear me out. So what we could do is just have a redstone torch stack over here like this. And okay, we need to make sure this works perfectly. Uh, no, that's not going to work, is it? Or wait, okay, this is getting complicated. Let's just use observers. All right, well, you set up the observers while we put the floors on these. And all right, all right, sounds good. But uh, I got to be careful with the observers. I don't want to accidentally trigger them when they're not ready yet. I guess what I could do is just have it go like this and then have the observers go over here like this way for each floor of the cannon. Uh, wow, we have multiple floors on a TNT cannon. This is pretty insane. So here we go like that. And okay, now I just got to replace all these buttons with some redstone. And okay, this is um, this is pretty insane. I, I, I think it's ready, right? This is getting kind of dangerous. Um, let me make sure I have this copy. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure you have it copied in case it all blows up. But I think it's ready. All we have to do to activate it is just put down a button in front of this observer and that should activate it. All right. Well, speaker baby, you could do the honors. And yeah, go for it, speaker baby. I'm too scared of this thing. I thank you for giving me the honors. Okay, here we go. And all right, here we go. And whoa, 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 guys, it's getting activated. All right, here we go. Let's see it. And oh my gosh, that worked perfectly. Whoa, that was awesome. Uh oh, I set it off again. Here we go. Here we go. Let's check it in. Oh my gosh, that is actually crazy. That's going to like take out every part of the weird strict that. It's going to like hit him in the lower body. It's going to hit him in the chest and the face. It's like our final combo move. That was awesome. It's like a horde of fireworks. That is actually so crazy. When you activate it in the first place, it kind of looks a bit sketchy. It looks like it's not going to work. But then once it fires, it looks so perfect. It's actually crazy. Oh yeah, this thing's so cool. I could just sit and watch it all day. That is awesome. But I feel like there's something missing. Do we need more defenses around the bases? Oh yeah, you're right. We do have a lot of stuff like inside and on our bases right now, but we don't really have much stuff like around our bases. And look at how much like free space we got. We have so much room to do stuff. What if we had like a giant pit that we can throw big strict dad into? Whoa, wait, like a giant pit. Okay, I actually like that idea quite a bit. Uh, well, here, should we just build it in front of like both of our houses? Uh, yeah, but it should be hidden. That way he can't see it. And yeah, we should have like a button inside of our base to automatically open and close the pit. And then like we can have weird strict dad fall into it. So yeah, I guess the first thing we should probably do is uh, select this position and then let's go all the way over here. And we got to make this like a really big pit because you know, it's, it's a pretty big man he needs a big pit. So let's just set all of this to air boom there we go and let's slash slash stack this a few times uh, we can slash slash stack two there we go and now we are all the way down to bedrock now we got to put all the spikes down here oh but what spike do we use and ooh, what about this one this one looks pretty pointy and scary looking yep i'm already on it i'm placing all of these down oh come on let's use a magic wand to put these down faster and yeah yeah you're right what we can do is select this and then let's go over here and oh wait you actually got it and whoa this stuff actually looks crazy here let's grab a zombie spawn again let's see how much damage this can actually do so let's just spawn it in right over here and oh i forgot about our turrets but uh i guess let's test it over here can the turrets still reach it and oh the turrets can still reach it all right well uh, i guess that's that now we just gotta cover it up uh, yeah and then we gotta make it toggleable uh how do we do that? And oh, wait, what we could do is use command. So here, let me just give myself a command block really quick. Slash give at S command underscore block. Boom. And uh, here, where should we put the toggle switch? Should we put it like inside of the bridge between our houses? Yeah, we should do that. Oh yeah, that sounds pretty good. All right, all right. So we can just have it be uh, right over here. We can have the open switch there and then we can have the close button there. So we just have these command blocks over here and let me go get the command really quick. And all right, all right. Now let me just go over here and inside of the close command block, I'm just gonna put this command and let me replace air with uh wool and then over here in the open one i'm just gonna paste in this command and just have air at the end and now whenever we hit this button over here it'll open it up and now when we hit the close button it'll close it this is actually sick whoa he's never gonna see that coming yeah this is cool but guys do you see the size of him those spikes are not gonna do anything we might have to do some work ourselves and hmm yeah you're right those spikes that we have are pretty small it's probably not even gonna make like a dent in his health bar well, what do we do what if while he's trapped we go down there and we just start using our own weapons 
weapons against him. And oh yeah, yeah, that could be a really good idea. All right, let's just go down here and uh, we can just like clear out an entire area over here on this side of the spikes. And now let's just grab some walls and we can just put these walls all the way around here like this to make sure that the, the weird strict dad can't like, you know, get to us. And then pretty much when he falls into our pit, we can just be camping down here and just use our bows on him and that should do a bunch of extra damage. My head hurts. Oh yeah, right. Wait, uh, hold on. Can we make this thing any taller? And oh, uh, no, it looks like you're just gonna have to deal with it. I'm sorry about that speaker, man. Why is nothing tall people friendly anymore? I guess it pays to be one block tall. And I guess so. But anyways, now that we have this area done, we need to actually like grab a chest and like put down some bows. So here, I guess we can like put down a chest over here and inside of this, we can grab a bow and ooh, wait, there's a lot of OP bows. What type of bow should we grab? Whoa, wait, there's this one called the longbow of the heavens. That one seems pretty cool. I guess we can use that. Let me just put that inside of the chest and also have a bunch of arrows. Boom. And then we can just copy this chest and build it over on the other side as well, right over here. And uh, what is this? So I can stand. Oh, oh, you gave us some more room. Okay, I, I, I guess this works. Yeah. Isn't this unsafe? What if you accidentally open one of the trap doors? Uh, yeah, yeah. Wait, what? Okay, we should probably just use slabs instead of trap doors. Just don't open the trap doors. Ah! Uh, is he, be careful. What if you're in survival mode? Well, don't open them. It's pretty simple. Uh, yeah, but what if someone like accidentally opens them? Come on, let's just use the slabs. It'll be better. Oh my gosh. Well, you still have plenty of room with the slabs. See, like you just got like uh just like a little tiny bit of room between the wall and your head. Yeah, but I can barely even look up without hitting my head. Come on, suck it up, speaker man. Suck it up? You guys don't know what it's like to be tall all the time. Okay, okay. Well, I, I guess you just gotta deal with it. But yeah, we can just like have these go all the way around. And oh wait, what's this area gonna be? Uh, we need a way to get into this area from our base. And oh, oh yeah, 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 you're right. I forgot about that. And uh, here, we should probably cover up the cable since we don't want to really mess with that. Let's just cover it up with some obsidian like this. There we go. And yeah, okay, this area could be good. And then uh, we can just like uh, come to your base if we want to get down here. Uh, I would like to be able to walk here too. You know? <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. We can make it a uh, tall people friendly. I'm, I'm sorry about that. And you're almost done. We just gotta put these slabs all around this place. So just like this. And oh, wait, there's just a few left over here. Let's cover all this up. And boom. There we go. That looks pretty good. And, and now it's all tall people friendly. Oh, finally, my neck isn't breaking. And there we go. We're finished. Should we test it out? And ooh, yeah, yeah. Here, we should test it out. Uh, anyone wanna act as uh, the weird strict dad? We needed like a test subject. Uh, I guess I can since I'm the tallest. And the weirdness. And the dadness. Oh, well, who said that? Uh, what? And okay, 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 uh, whatever. Uh, well, let's just go up over here and uh, let's just quickly go up to the bridge. Where is that at? Oh, it's up over here. Yeah, there it is. And uh, speaker man, just like act like you're a weird strict dad and just like like act like you're attacking our base. We need to test this. Rah, I'm big and scary and I'm coming to destroy that and, house. Oh gosh, guys, Rah. guys, look, it's weird strict dad. We have to open the gate. Boom, there we go. <gasps> let's go, we got him. Ow, the spikes. Ow, the spikes hurt. Everyone to the spike room. Go, go, go. Now we just have to go down all the way over here and, uh, the, what the, wait, why, uh, I can't go here. What is this? Uh, wait, crouch, crouch. I can't crouch. It doesn't let me through. I'm still too tall. Oh, wait, we could just break this obsidian. And come on, come on. We have to grab a bow from over here. There we go. And take this. Ow, oh, everything hurts and I'm big and I'm a uh, weird strict dad. Ow. Wait, do these bows rain arrows from the sky? And yeah, it's pretty OP, but uh, I think that was a pretty successful test. I think I think if he was actually weird strict dad, that, that would have been uh, the successful W. I think so too. I don't know how much time we have until weird strict dad uh, the breaks out of that door. And okay, the door still looks pretty intact right now, but he's probably gonna break through it any second now. So uh, we gotta build more defenses. First, we should probably uh, cover up this, uh, you know, pit because we don't want him to instantly see it. So let's just hit the close button. Boom, there we go. It is all covered up. And uh, hmm, what should we build next? Well, we still have a lot of room to work on the outside of the base. Um, Is there anything we could do? Mm, yeah, you're right. We do have the spike pit, but that's kind of only one thing. We still do have a lot of room. Let's see. Oh, I've got an idea. Let's just go over here to where this uh, weird strict dad is. And now uh, we're just going to put a bunch of these down. Are these mines? And whoa, okay, these could work. Uh, wait, hold on. Let's see what other types there are. And wait, what in the world is a bouncing Betty and a Claymore, an intelligent munition system? Okay, we should test out all of these different mines. Uh, Speaker Man, you are coming dangerously close to me with those. Be careful. It's fine. Dude, chill, chill. You gotta go easy on the mines. We don't need this many. This is gonna blow like our houses up, but we should probably test out these other ones. Do you see how big he is? This is probably not gonna do anything. And hmm. Yeah, you are right. These are quite a bit. But, dude, you just, like, surrounded Speaker Baby. Uh, speaker Baby, you just, like, walk very carefully out, okay? Guys, I know I'm an explosives expert, but I am terrified right now. It's speaker Man, stop putting more! Okay, Speaker Baby, you just gotta fly up, okay? <laughs> All right! Okay, I could do this. And wait, 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 actually, actually, what you could do, what you could do. Wait, 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 wait. Let me grab a potion of levitation and just splash this on you. And, okay, 
Hopefully this works. Let's go! Mission control! You have been saved! Let's go! Yeah, I'm glad that you're okay. Oh, that was terrifying. And okay, well, speaker man, you gotta go easy on the mines. We cannot have this many here. This is pretty crazy. But we gotta put down some of these other ones as well. We can't just have them all be like these normal default mines. These ones look cool, but what in the world is a bouncing Betty and a Claymore and an intelligent munition system? Let's go test these ones out over here. Pretty sure the bouncing Betty bounces. And yeah, I mean, it's literally got bouncing in the name. But guys, let's go inside of the closet. Let's test it out here. Uh, this seems like a pretty good spot. It's like far away from all the buildings and stuff. This house is huge. Huge. This isn't even a house. It's just a single bedroom. But yeah, we've got the bouncing Betty here. At, uh, it's frequent. I'd be careful with that if I were you. Boing, 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 boing. I should be fine. If the, if I'm the one who placed it down, so it wouldn't do anything. Ruby, I, I'd be careful if I were you. Boing, and boing, boing, boing. Okay, wait. I, I think it only works on enemies. Let me try spawning in a zombie really quick so we can test it out. And, uh oh. Oh. Uh, Ruby, uh, maybe I was wrong. It does work on not enemies. I guess it just takes some time. Yeah, but wait, what did that one even do? It was the bouncing Betty. Did it bounce? Hold on. We got to test it out again on a zombie over here. But what we should do first, let's make a little contained uh, experimentation room. Let's just have like a little box out of some obsidian so that we can contain the blast. So let's do slash slash walls obsidian. Boom. There we go. And here, let's also set the floor to obsidian. There we go. And okay, guys, this is our testing facility. All right, let's see. What does the bouncing Betty do to a zombie? Let's test this out. Here we go. And uh, come on, zombie. Just like step over it really quick. That'd be pretty nice. And what? Okay. Does this one just take time? Is that like its whole thing? And, oh, oh, it bounced. Uh, I see. Ooh. Yeah, the Betty bounced. Wow. Okay. That was uh, kind of weird. I don't know what the point of that is. Why is that better than a normal mine? That's not really that good. We should probably test out the other ones, though. Let's test out the uh, Claymore. Yeah, yeah. Let's put the Claymore there. And then we can spawn in a zombie over here in front of it. And oh. That, that was kind of cool. Wait, wait, hold on. Let's see. Let's try that again. How close does a zombie have to be for it to, like, actually do its thing? And, uh, yeah, just keep pushing it, speaker man. And, oh, that's pretty good. Whoa, it doesn't have to be that close at all. Wait, guys, we gotta test out this intelligent munition system now. Ooh, okay, okay. This one looks pretty wild. It has intelligent in the name, so maybe it's, like, uh, this super smart. So, let's try it out. Let's just find a zombie right over here. And let's just slowly push it towards the thing. And, oh, what? Uh, I think it's doing something. Whoa! Did it just bounce and then explode? Oh, I think it shot a rocket up and then targeted the zombie. Like, look. Whoa, and wait, look, it's even got like three more rockets remaining. And wait, it just shot another one. Oh my gosh. Wait, this thing is awesome. Okay, I think we definitely have to use a few more of these. These ones can be used four times. And wait, wait, hold on. I wonder what happens when the last one goes off. Is it gonna be like a super big explosion? Oh, here we go, here we go. Let's see what this one's gonna do. Let's try spawning in a zombie. Here we go. Is it gonna like shoot itself up in the air or something? And uh, the, what, what, what's it gonna do? I think it's just out of ammo. It's on fire. And uh, I don't know. It's, it, yeah, it's on fire. Fire. It seems like it's about to do something. Come on now. Maybe we just have to like put the zombie right on top of it like that. And, whoa, what the? Okay, I don't even know what in the world this thing is doing, but it seemed pretty cool. We should put a few of them down. Let's go back over to our old mines over here and oh. Wait, some of them blew up. Who done that? Uh, well, who was the only one that wasn't with the group for a minute? I think it might have been me. Oh, oh, did you hit them when you respawned? Okay, that makes sense. But here, what we should do now is just have to fill in this floor really quick. Let's just fill in all of this floor slash slash set. Well, boom, there we go. And now what we need to do is put down some of these intelligent munition system and uh, like the other crazy mines. So let's just put down a few of these over here. We don't need to go crazy and put down like a million of them. So, hey, speaker man, chill, 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 chill. Okay, you don't need to put that many. Uh, wait, wait, maybe we should leave the explosives to the explosives expert. Uh, let me place these down. And yeah, okay, let's just leave speaker baby to it, okay? We don't need uh, th three people on this at once. I'm the explosives expert. And here, while you're doing that, uh, I'll put down a, a set of claymores over here. And oh, I think that's facing the wrong way. Uh, we have to have them face this way with, like, the, the red particles pointing that way. So I'm just gonna put down a few of these over here like this. There we go. And let's also have some of these bouncing Bettys over here. Wait, won't the claymores just blow those up? Oh, yeah. Well, you know, the, the bigger explosion, the, the better. But not we don't want it to be too big because we don't want it to blow up our house. But I, I think this should be enough. I think we're getting, like, dangerously close to the spikes over here and we don't really want to interfere with that. Yeah, hopefully he tries to get away from the explosives and then he falls into the spikes. And yeah, yeah, exactly. That's the ultimate, the master plan. But anyways, I think that should be enough mines. What do we do next? Wait, guys, we should build like some overpowered armory rooms. And whoa, wait, yeah, armor is going to be very important. I completely forgot about that. Okay, uh, well, I guess uh, what we can do is build like two separate ones in each of our houses and then uh, we can connect them somehow with like an underground tunnel. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Me and Ruby will get started over here. And all right, all right, sounds good. Well, anyway, speaker man, where are we going to build our armory room. Mm, I guess like right in the middle.
middle is fine. Uh, we could just have this entire central area devoted to armor. Ooh, all right, all right. I guess we can do that here. We should probably start like building walls for the armory area first. So let's just have like walls over here like this. Ooh, all right, this is already looking nice. And yeah, here, this is gonna look sick. We can just have like a little room inside of the, the main castle and then we can have like, I don't know, a door to get inside of it. So here, let's just expand the walls to go all the way this way. And okay, wait, is this all even? Oh, wait, it's not all even because my towers are a little bit different from yours, but it's fine. This will do. So here, now let's just slash slash stack these walls. Boom. There we go. Let's slash slash stack it one more time. There we go. That's looking pretty nice. And all right, we are almost done with the walls. Yeah, we're probably going to need a roof so uh, that a uh, dad doesn't come over here. And yeah, yeah, exactly. You're right. We don't need a door since he can't fit through that, but he's like big enough to just like step on our castle. So we're definitely going to need a roof. Otherwise, we're going to get stomped on literally. So here, let me just select that and slash slash stack that. Boom. That looks pretty good. Let me slash slash stack it one more time. Nice looking good. And now we can just have a door over here. And let's see. We should probably have a door for the armor room just like because it'll look cool. And ooh, what if we use one of these hanger doors? These things look sick. Oh, yeah. This does look pretty cool. But now we got to start placing down the armor. And yeah, you're right. So uh, here, I guess uh, you can have this side for your armor. And then I'll have this side since, you know, my square towers are on this side. And over here in the middle is where we can have like the uh, connecting system that goes over to Ruby and Speaker Baby's armory. Oh, OK. That sounds pretty neat. Uh, let me go ahead and start putting down my armor. Hmm, what do I want? And all right, all right, here, let me put down my armor as well. I'm just going to put down all of these blocks and then let me grab some armor stands and put them right on top of these. This is looking sick. And hmm, yeah, wait, what type of armor are you going to go for? I don't know. Hmm. Wait, what about the power armor mark too? This kind of looks awesome. Whoa, that does look pretty sick. All right, hold on. I need to find something as cool as that. Let's see. What are we working with here? And uh, let's see. Oh, wait a minute. What about the shadow armor? Look, it's all like purple and stuff. All right, I'm going to grab some of this and let me just put it down on top of these armor stands right over here. Boom. This armor is looking sick. And now that we have armor, hmm, what should we do for our weapons? And yeah, that's a good question. We're going to need to get like a really OP sword. I, hopefully like a big one because you know that uh, weird strict dad guy is pretty huge. And wait, speaking about big, I may have found something pretty big. It's called the Emerald Heavy Sword. Check this out. This thing is giant. Oh, I found something called the Red Dwarf Star Sword. Check this out. Wait, I think it's tiny compared to mine. Yo, you gotta get one of these. These things are huge. Uh, size doesn't matter. This does a hundred million attack damage. Whoa. Okay. That's uh pretty good. I guess you can use that, but here, I'm going to grab a chest and I'm just going to put all of my stuff inside of the chest. So I'm just going to have like the chest over here on the floor. In fact, let me set this floor to some light gray wool to look nice. And I'll put the chest over here and I'll put my weapon inside of there. All right. Well, anyways, I've still got two empty rows inside of my chest. So let's see, what can I put in there? And I guess uh, enchanted golden apples are probably going to be one thing that's going to be helpful. So I'm just going to put those in there like that. Boom. And here, let's see, what else am I going to need? What about grenades? And wait, grenades. Grenades? Hold on. I want to see what type of grenades are you putting inside it? Whoa. Okay. That seems pretty OP. All right. I'll put a grenade inside of mine as well. Let me see. What type of grenades do we got? Whoa. What is this? It's a stick grenade. Okay. Don't mind if I do. This one seems pretty cool. Let me just put that all up in here and boom. There we go. Now what I need to do is just copy this chest and let me just place it down on all of my other armor stands. So let me just do that. Oh, wait, uh, I just broke a cable. Okay, that's probably important. Let me uh, just move this cable so it's going that way. There we go. And here we go. Now I can continue putting down all of these chests. This is going to be OP. And wait, hold on. There's another cable over here. Let me just uh, divert this to go this way. There we go. And all right, there we go. Now all of my chests are filled and I've got all my armor stands filled as well. Now all we have to do is actually like connect both the armories. Uh, hey guys, is your armory done? Oh, we just finished ours. And yeah, wait, are you guys ready yet to connect the armories? I think we're pretty ready over here. Yeah, our armory is pretty much done. And wait, hold on. Where are you guys at? Are you in the top floor or bottom floor or where, where is it? The first floor. And oh, first floor. All right, I'm coming up and whoa, wait, your guys' armory area actually does look pretty sick. What? You guys have rocket launchers and, and chainsaws? Well, I thought it would be nice to have a variety. Yeah, all the essentials, especially right here. And, wait, what is this? And oh, I, I, I see you've expanded your uh, danger collection. But anyways, now that both the armory rooms are done, we got to connect them. And I was thinking we could do that with some mine carts. So um, hmm, where should we uh, do this from in your guys' armory room? Probably towards your base right here. And oh, yeah, I guess so. Uh, wait, uh, let's do it over here because it is closer to our armory room. We can just have like a little area that connects all the way over here to our armory room. So uh, let's grab some reinforced glass and we can just start building the tube. We can just build it all out of reinforced glass. This tunnel is looking nice, guys. Let's go. And here, while you guys are building the tunnel, I'll start building the minecart system on the inside. What we need is to have a block over here like this and a button. And now let me just grab one of every single type of rail that we're going to need. So we're going to need some normal rails, some power rails, and some minecarts, of course. And then we can just have the button right over here and the minecart here. And here is where we're going to have our automatic minecart system to connect both of the things. It's going to be sick. All right, I can help 
power them. And all right, all right, sounds good. And there we go. I believe they are all connected now. Let's just put a button down over here. And are, are they all powered? Uh, should we test it out? Maya, there's some right here. And oh, there we go. All right, well, now that it's all powered, let me hit the button. And here we go. Let's go. This is actually working so well. Although uh, it's a very short distance. I'm not sure a minecart track was really necessary. But, you know, uh, it, it, we got to go fast. So it's good. Seconds means a lot in times of trouble. And yeah, exactly, exactly. Especially when we're fighting a, a weird strict dad. All right, well, anyways, now that we have the minecart system done, what do we need to build? Uh, wait, do you guys see that? It says it's almost time. Almost time for what? And wait, we're in survival now. We should check on the guy. Oh gosh, oh gosh, wait, hold on. This could be weird strict dad. And, uh, guys, the door is almost fully broken down. Oh no, oh no, this isn't good. Uh, that means the fight is gonna start soon. We need to get to our battle stations. And everyone, quick, to their positions. I'm going up on my archery tower over here. Wait, no, I need to grab my weapons first. Let me just go over here and grab a full set of armor. Here we go. And let me grab this sword, a golden apple, and a grenade. And wait, hold on. I need to grab a bow. What? Did you not put one in your chest? Uh, no, no, I kind of forgot. I need to go down over here to this room and let me just grab one of these bows really quick. And boom, there we go. Now I've got a bow. All right, I'm running back. I gotta get up to the archery tower. I'm getting up to the TNT cannons. And oh yeah, yeah, good idea. You can man the TNT cannon here. Come on. I need to go up to my tower really quick. Let's go. Has he broken out yet? Almost. Everybody get in positions. He's almost out. Wait, he just broke out. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. All right, everyone. It's battle time. Come on. Everyone pull out your bows. We gotta take this guy out. And oh gosh, wait. I don't think my bow can reach him. It's not going far enough. Wait, I think one of my arrows hit one of the mines. And oh gosh, oh gosh, come on. We can't be wasting our traps like that. And oh, hi, Ruby. Hi, I'm trying to help. Oh gosh, guys. I think we need to get closer because my arrows are not reaching him. And oh gosh, yeah, I think you might be right. All right, guys, I'm going down. I've got my sword. I'm gonna take this guy out with my emerald heavy sword. Come here. Oh, he's getting closer. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on. We have to lure him into the mines. And oh gosh, all the mines are like already exploded. This is gonna be tough, but come here, weird strike dad. Okay, wait, I have a plan. I'm just gonna try going around here and just breaking through these blocks so I can get through the mines. And wait, did something just blow up? Uh, I think so. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, wait, this entire area just blew up. I didn't know there were mines here, but come on. We just gotta dodge the mines. Everyone be super careful. Guys, try to lead him towards the TNT cannon. And oh yeah, good idea, good idea. Come on, come on. We just have to lure him over. Hey, we are straight dad. Come here. Let's go. We're actually getting some damage in. And ow, he does so much damage. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Be careful, everyone. Watch out, watch out. He's following me. And okay, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on. We just have to lure him over here and let's get him to blow up all of the mines first because there's still quite a few left. Come here. Uh, I don't think he seems too happy with us. And oh gosh, oh gosh. Yeah, this guy looks terrifying, but come on. Wait, speaker, maybe. Are there any mines left? Uh, you're just watching from up there, right? Yeah, there's some on that big unexploded part. And wait, what? Big unexploded part? Oh, yeah, I see some over there. All right, come on. Guys, we have to lure Big Strict Dad right over here and then blow up all these mines. Uh, speaker man, bring him here. I think he's following you. Uh, yeah, of course he's following me. And, ah, wait, one of them just almost blew up on me. Oh, gosh, oh, gosh. Wait, I gotta be careful. And wait, Ruby, I think he's chasing you. Come on, bring him over to the mines. Or, wait, you know what? Actually, we're too far from the mines. Speaker baby, hit the TNT cannons. Go, go, go. All right, here I go. All right, come on, come on. This has to work. Let's see it. Come on, here we go. Take this weird strict that. Let's go. Oh my gosh, that totally worked. Yeah, look, he's taking so much damage. And oh, wait, guys, look, the turrets are doing their work. Speaker Ruby, keep going, keep going. Hit the TNT cannon again. Come on. Wait, Ruby, I think he's following you. Bring him over here in front of the cannons. This might be working, but he's still chasing me. And oh gosh, oh gosh, just run, just run. Oh gosh. Firing again. Here we go, here we go. We gotta go around this way now. We just gotta keep him in front of the TNT cannons. And oh my gosh, this is actual chaos. Come on. Going again. Just keep spamming the TNT cannons. That's the move. And wait, hold on. I think we have to move him a little bit more this way so that he actually like is standing where the TNT blows up. Or wait a minute, guys. I just realized he's standing right on top of the spikes. Uh, wait, everyone, to the bridge. Come on, we have to go activate the spikes. Go, 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 go. Everyone run. Come on, we gotta press the button. Come on, come on. We just gotta go this way. And here, is he still standing on the spikes? And okay, I, I hope he is. I'm just gonna hit the open button. Here we go. And let's go. I think we got him. All right, now everyone, quick. We gotta go down to like the area where we can shoot him with our bows. All right, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. All right, I'm coming down. And here we go. Now we've got a good vantage point and he can't even hit us. Come on, let's just keep going. This should do a lot of damage. And how much health does this guy have? I don't know. Wait, guys, you still have those grenades, right? Let's chuck them and, at him. Oh, yeah, good idea here. I'm gonna throw my stick grenades uh -oh. at him. Take this. And wait, did you drop one? And, oh, why'd you drop one there? Oh, gosh, we better run. No, the lava mode. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. Everything is going wrong right now. Now the lava mode is spilling in. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is really bad. Wait, guys, those grenades are blowing up the spikes. Stop throwing them. And oh, gosh. Yeah, you're right. Those grenades are not a good idea. But here, maybe we can try pushing him into the lava mode. Come on, take this. I don't think the lava mode's gonna do anything. Oh, no. No. What do we do? What other defenses do we have? Oh, that's it. I'm going to my danger stash. Wait, 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 what? Are you gonna get TNT? Oh, wait, that's actually a good idea. Come on, maybe that can do some damage. Oh my gosh, how much else does this thing have? You guys might want to stand back. What? Stand back for what? The explosives expert is coming in. 
Oh, oh, he's putting down TNT. All right, I'm going away. Ah, uh, dead. Oh, wait, it just blew up. Wait, did it do any damage to him? And oh, he's still alive. Oh, that's it. I'm resorting to my rocket launcher. Wait, what? You have your rocket launcher still? Oh, gosh. All right, well, we might want to back off. Oh, gosh. Yeah, take this and this. And I don't think this is doing anything. Oh, my gosh. This guy's literally not going down. What do we do? Guys, it may be time to risk it. My armor's getting kind of low. Oh, gosh, I completely forgot about our armor. Okay, well, everyone to the elytra area. We still have that. Come on, go, go, go. Oh, come on. We have to run. Run, 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 run. Come on, come on. Just keep going. We just got to go up over here to the top floor. Let's go. All right, well, I'm going first. And one last lever flip for good luck. And oh, yeah, good idea. Here we go. Come on. Hopefully, this does some damage to him. And wait, where did he go? And oh, gosh, that probably didn't even do anything. All right, well, I guess I'm next. I'll, I'll see you guys. And all right, see you, speaker man. Black. All righty, I'm going next, Dash. See you. And all right, all right, go for it. And here, I'm going to put on my elytra so I can go right after you. And oh, there you go. All right, my turn now. Here, let me just hop over here and press the button. And all right, here we go. Go. Hopefully, this doesn't do too much damage. And let's go. And oh my gosh, she is right there. All right, we gotta go. Everyone escape to the bed. Let's go in here. Come on, we have to make it out through the window over here. And let's go. See you. We escaped. Let's go. That was pretty crazy. And if you wanna watch the next video, then click on the video on the screen right now.